Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Empire Hunt the Warrior. I'm going to be doing it on the Legend difficulty, which is 1250 power. The modifiers are Hot Knife, which means all shanks have solar shields. There are Barrier and Overload Champions, your equipment's locked, and there's Match Game, which means if you're not matching the elemental shield with the same element, you'll do very little damage. The reason I'm putting this out is because this is how you get the Cloud Strike. Now, there are some... Uh, things you've got to do to be to get the cloud strike just to drop. So, and it all work. It's all part of uh, Varix's sabotage uh, missions. You need to you need to have completed Europan Explorer two, which uh, means you can elect a different difficulty for the the Empire hunts. And I believe you need Euro Europa Challenges three, which is gives you the weekly Pinnacle Empire hunt challenge. Once you get those, I believe then the cloud strike will show up as a random reward when you're selecting it and it's just like the exotic armor once you want you you just have to keep running it to give yourself a chance to get it i got it on i think the fourth run so as you can see i'm doing it on the warlock we are using top tree stormcaller i'm using night watch stars and shadow and i am using the anarchy because i've had to go with an arc build for this because at the end there's some serious arc coming your way uh the exotic i'm using is Obviously, the, the Warlock's Helm, the Crown of Tempests, makes my Storm Collar last a little bit longer and gives me back Arc Energy on Arc Kills. So, grenades and melee, you get back faster. I've went for a Charge by Light build. So, you can see a lot of the mods I've got on, uh, culminating in High Energy Fire, are all ways to become Charge by Light with the weapons that I've got. That is the build, that's the way that I've chose to run it. I've got Grenade Launcher, Scavenger, Finder and Reserves. Uh, obviously, I've got Surge Eater on, so every time I stop an Overload Champion, I'm going to get my Grenade back, which is really helpful. Top Tree Stormcaller with the Grenade, you're going to get that uh, Arc Web effect and chain electricity to anybody that's close to it. So, that's that's the character, that's the build. As I say a little bit about this isn't this isn't a guide on how to get the cloud strike. I just thought I would add that in. That's how you get to this point. When you can select the the, the mission from the map, the cloud strike will show up as a random reward as you're selecting it. Now, for some reason I don't know why I lost the first ten seconds of this, but literally nothing happened. I just ran down here. I went. I always try and do it this way. As I say, it took me four runs to get this. I always go around the right of this pillar and try and take the 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 fallen, and especially the two elite fallen vandals because they just are so annoying. As you can see they're just dodging left and right, and they really hurt when they hit you. There is an overload, uh, overload minotaur, and there's an arc shielded captain. So once I've once I feel like I've done enough damage to the vandals, then I'm going to target those guys. They, they're they not, not really too much hassle to start with because they target each other. So as long as you're not doing big damage to them, they'll kind of leave you alone. So as you can see, every time I stop an overload, I'm going to throw the grenade. I don't believe that this part is just... It's it's more annoying than... Or, or just like... Uh, it's just there. It's not, not really difficult. You can do things at your own pace. It's when we get further on that things heat up a little bit. So as you can see, I'm just grenade... Putting an anarchy on, it just really good. Now we've got two elite hobgoblins. I don't really focus on them too much because there's too much going on in front of them. They don't target you so much. And then once, once, once I've took out everything else, as you can see, I'm just going to put a, put an anarchy. And there we go. That's 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 the section traversed. Now we're going to move on. There's another little section with an overload before we get to the meat. First real challenge in this mission, which is where you get those uh, Vex cabaret dancers. That's what they look like, right? They look like cabaret dancers, those wyverns. I expect them to start doing the can-can halfway through an attack. Uh, so on the right, you're going to have Vex down here. On the left, you're going to have Fallen. And you're going to have an Overload Minotaur jumping backwards and forwards. So I just place a grenade to see what I can take out with a grenade. I'm not too worried about. There, there is a Vandal on the left, and I always kind of look out for the Vandals because they've got ranged attack. But I do have a mod on that uh, uh, I take less damage from ranged attacks. Now, depending on how you play, you can go with ranged attack, which is, a, they say it's like a sniper thing, but it's not, not really a sniper, it's just ranged attack. Or you can have the mod on that saves you a, 
It gives you damage resistance from point blank attacks. Depends on your playstyle. I like to do my stuff. I like to see the game in front of me. So I like to do my stuff from range. So I have another mod on that makes me charge with light whenever I pick up an orb of light. So as you can see, I've got a couple of charges of light. We're good. And now when you get to this area, you've got one of those uh, cabaret dancers, those guys there. Uh, uh, <laughs> I expect every time I see them, I think of the Copacabana. Uh you really have to be careful with them because they take a they take a lot to put down, and they they want like a lot of the ads in this game when they when you put damage on them they tend to either if you haven't aggroed them enough to chase you they'll just run away and hide. There are dependent. Sometimes I get two barriers here. Other times I only get one. I think it depends on how what you take down and how you take it down. So I'm going to take the Wyvern from all the way back here so I don't have to deal with him. There you, can, there you see, he's gone. We've got a barrier. Uh, I'm just going to throw a grenade to see if I can hit anything, which I did. Very lucky. You've got a heap of these uh, a heap of these harpies, which normally they're not too bad. So what I do with these uh, goblins, and I, I, I tend to do it quite a lot now, as I do an initial shot, one shot just on their head just to get them put up their their uh the shield and then i'll wait for the shield i wait for the shield to go down and then i melt them i don't try and kill them before the shield goes down because it's waste of time waste of effort so there you can see everything's everything's good just got one more hobgoblin and then we can move on so, so this area you're taking as much as you can from the safety of all the way back uh, you will have to come down here, obviously, to take down the barrier and the last two hobgoblins. Maybe a couple of ads, but make sure that wyvern's gone. You want to take the wyvern. That's the wyvern and the arc shielded captain are going to be the two things you're going to focus on in that area, and then clean up the rest. So now we move on to the next area. Now the next area is just a load of fallen. So what you can do is you can make this this section pretty easy for yourself if you tag a certain point on the left hand side. And allow the fallen to run into it. It's it's really is that simple. Then you've got a couple of snipers to deal with, that, but they both the snipers will go to the same place. One is a named sniper, and one's just an elite. So I put one anarchy shot there, one anarchy shot there on that rock, and I just let all the fallen run through. So you get two waves here. So just to make sure, I put a grenade all the way at the back. And then I put another two anarchy, anarchy shots just so that we've got now a fresh kind of trip, trip line for them, trip wire. And they will all run through it. As you can see, I've got some heavy there, which is good. So then turn around here, you've got an overload champion up on the right. After you take the overload, that's when you get get the, the two snipers. What I like to do with this overload is I like to try and pin them with one shot. Because he'll, he'll dodge out the way. And when you pin him with a shot, see he's still taking damage. Because once you pin him with a shot, put one on the wall to the right. And it will still attach to him when he hides behind there. He won't be able to bring his, get his health back. So as you can see, one's just an elite. Now I put I put a shot up there. Normally I stick him with that, but I didn't. But it's still up there. Now we're going to get the named guy. The, the, the fallen kind of kill guy. It's not really a kill, it's just a named enemy. And what I'm going to do is try and stick him. You've got to be careful because he's a sniper. There, we got him. And now he will attach to the other two. That's the cool thing about the Anarchy is even if you miss your shots, if they're in the area, once you tag, everything joins up. So it's not really a missed shot. It's just more kind of inadvertent DPS you're putting on. So that's this area. Now we're going to move forward. We still have two or three tricky areas before we get to the boss. This area... It's not really tricky, you just got to take your time. This is where the, the modifier hot knife comes in. All these shanks will have a solar shield. But the great thing is, you can chain the explosions. So we take the first couple out, go over here. I'm going to throw down a grenade just in case. And then move back, because now you're going to get exploders. And we just need to kind of... A lot of them like to hide. Just You'll see where I'm shooting now. A lot of them like to hide down there. But if you can get the, the chained explosion going... They don't really get a chance to stay there for too long. You can see I missed that guy because I'm using a pulse. And I'm just, just wanting to 
make sure there's nothing that, nothing getting past that point. And if they do hide like that guy there, if they do hide, just moving forward and jumping up, just activating your boost is enough. That is enough to make them come out. So if you just get down here and then you jump up, it's enough to bring them out. Now, there was still more to come out because there's quite a lot there. My, my, my advice there is just, you know, you'll see what you've got on your map. You'll see if there's something in your immediate eye line. Just be careful moving forward. But just always plan that the first time you go up, the first time you move on that platform to activate them, just plan that you're not going to get them all to come out at the same time straight away. So don't just think you've cleared them and then just run up there and start attacking this section. So there's a couple of more snipers here, but as I say, break one shield, you break them all. Now you've got a barrier, you've got a, a giant shank. So what we're going to do is I s stick the barrier, and hopefully it's enough to, to get me to put a shield up, put a shield, put one more on them, and that's all she broke. Now you'll have a, solar, a smaller kind of elite solar shank, same level, there he is. You'll have another little shank in front of you, and then you'll have the 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 the, the giant the the fallen saber, as I, I like to call them. They're not really a saber, but they're, you know what I mean. Those guys. So what I do is I break his shield and I put a couple of anarchy, which is why we've got the anarchy. Cause it's the, anytime you've got fallen, you've just got they're sort of so mobile that it's kind of hard to pin them down to do big damage before they run away. So the anarchy allows you to stick and run. You stick, you stick them and they run. So we're moving forward now at a bit of a pace. There's like uh, I think two, two or three more sections left before the boss. Maybe, maybe just the two. But this, this one can be problematic. You've got two of those cabaret dancers, uh, the wyverns, and you've got uh, again. I, I've done this where I've had two champions, and like this run, I think I'll only get one of the champions in this run. I hold back to. Give the second champion a chance. But maybe because I didn't activate past a certain point. I didn't get the second champion. And you see at the end. I actually do get platinum. So I didn't miss any champions. So it might just be. Uh, a, a move. Uh, uh, the champions can come back out. Depending on what, what what order you kill stuff. Or where you are when you kill it. I don't, I don't really understand why I was getting duplicate champions on previous runs. Because I've got another barrier champion right here beforehand. So I've stuck the, the first wyvern. You can see there. I'll just stick another one. Because uh, there's other adds. There's goblins down there. And then we, a wyvern's pushing me. So I just put my, my rift down. Now what I tried to do there. You see you've got this cover behind you. What I tried to do there was stick the wyvern with two anakin and put one on the floor. That seems to be the best best way to take take them down. Uh, is have the two on them and then one on the ground. And it really does do the triple damage. I've noticed that if you... You can only really stick two efficiently to a champion. If you stick three, it doesn't seem to do any more. But if you, if you stick with two and then put one on the ground, it seems to be a little bit better. So we've now got one more goblin down the bottom. We'll just pick up any ammo we've got. The, now that we're getting closer, it's probably about time we start talking about the boss. I think this next section is literally just sticking and stay out the way. So once you've cleared this section, pick up all your ammo. We'll speak a little bit about this next section. I think I think that we've we've got one of those big rigs, and we've got to stick the rig. Is that yeah? Uh, so what I do is I just again, there's a champion here which didn't count. Because he disappears, he doesn't actually let me fight him. So we're just putting some some shots on, and then we, we move back here because he will he will he will try and hit you with a mortar attack. So you've got to be careful with that, as you can see there. And I took a lot of damage there because I wasn't prepared for the mortar attack just yet. But we're going to speak a little bit about the boss because I'm just going to keep doing that until this rig's dead. The boss has obviously because the boss is. Uh, uh, a stasis boss. He has stasis attack, which is, I think, the titan's attack. The warrior's got the titan's attack. When you see him about to fire, just move left or right slightly out of the direction of his attack. It's not as it's not as unforgiving as some of the other uh, enemies' attacks. 
You're also going to have, in the first phase, you're going to have some falling, just normal falling. Second phase is going to be all about the shanks. It's the third phase. That's where you've got to worry. Or be more careful, because now you're going to have arc captains. They're going to be very aggressive. You can see them coming, but they take more damage to put down. So I will be keeping my super as much as possible for that third phase. So as soon as you get in here, this is us at the boss. So it's basically you're on this platform to start with. Again, I'm going to wait for the boss to come out and I'm going to do my three-prong attack. Put one left, one right, and one on the boss. Now, I've created like a pyramid of arc damage. Any adds pushing through, I'm not going to get through. So, I'm just, you know, if you get that, that was an elite, that will happen. But you'll see here what I'm talking about with the boss. We'll get my second wave. The boss, see when he does that, he... It's not a dynamic super where it will change depending on where you go. It doesn't change. He's going to fire it in a direction and that's it. So I'm now this is going to always going to be a problem in these the, these uh, strikes, uh, these missions is ammo ammo consumption. Now I've said before. I've said on stream. Uh, I, I've said in videos. Nobody should ever fail an activity in a video game because you ran out of ammo and couldn't get any more. Now, I know you can get more, but the drop rate is ridiculous. So, in this in this, in this, this part, you're going to get some... To start with, you're just going to get these guys. Then you're going to start getting shanks. Shanks are solar shielded, which is, you know, why we've uh, got the pulse rifle. And I dropped some heavy. Now, now that I've got heavy, I can use a little bit of anarchy, which is brilliant. If you can, if you're aware of where you are and where the ads are, the anarchy is perfect. So, as you can see, the explosion. If you can, if you can get them bunched up and just get the explosion going. Now, this is where I suppose these boss boss levels are pretty clever, because it seems like every time that boss attacked me. The ads were coming in, so I was preoccupied with shooting the ads. Subsequently, a couple of times, he catches me with the attacks, but it really is stick and move. As you can see here, we've got the double explosion, and I'm going to move. Um, everything, everything in this run is geared to the final, for me, everything in this boss fight for me was geared to the final part. Those captains are brutal. So what I ended up doing, you can see, I've got some anarchy shots. I could have I could have put some on them and just finished them off, but I'm farming this farming these shanks now for heavy. The more heavy I've got going into the boss room, the better. This shank just didn't want to play ball; he just kept dodging left and right. So, you know that is that's what I'm trying to do is get a little bit of heavy before we move forward. I'm not even attacking the boss now. Every time he does that movement, every time he does that movement, he's calling in reserves and as soon as you see him do that even if you, even if he catches you when he's when he's prepping up to fire even if he catches you you can still kind of move out the way so you know it's not it's not too brutal just have to be careful every time i see a chunk of that uh uh chunk of his stasis super fly across the map i thought it was heavy ammo but I'm just farming for heavy now. That's all I'm doing. I, if I'd have had enough heavy, I could have just, I could have just finished them. Well, got out of this area. Now, that that was the one of the only real problems I had during this section was that time where I, I, the explosion didn't chain the damage. There's some heavy. We've got a, we've got a few rounds. And as you can see, I took a couple of shots there. He fired. I just backed away. Now I'm just going to put a couple anarchy and just wait for that. You see I'm already just looking for the the, the platforms. I know he's called another bunch of ads in. But we, got the, we got the chained explosions going. And there's more heavy. Just run past them. We are good for heavy. So now we can get rid of this guy. It's not going to take much to get rid of him now. There he goes, and here, so this, this is the section here, so I always start at this kind of pillar here, and what I do is I, I lay traps for these ads, and then you're going to get ads from the other side, so there we go, 
So, piece of cake. Uh, we've still got this guy, but I need to reload my anarchy and just put one on the ground next to him. And you get two waves of this. And then I, th I think you get a third wave. And the third wave, once you do that, then we're going to go to to the... Uh, to the... Where he... After, like, every 10, 20 seconds, he'll call out another wave. Now, the reason why he's not come down is because that, that captain jumped off the edge. I've got to wait for him to come back. And I, I was a little bit confused. I thought, is he going to stay down there? And I kept going, looking over, and getting shot, and couldn't really couldn't really fight him and then all of a sudden he came back I just put an anarchy shot and finished him off the boss will come down but you're also going to get your next wave so what we're going to try and do here is try and entice them over to me and then pop my super as soon as I can I'm going to not pop my super pop my rift sorry my my my, uh, my saving grace so we just want to clear this wave of ads. As I say, the anarchy is God sent here. That's why I never ran the Warmind build. I love the Warmind build. It just wasn't practical here. So as you can see, nearly all the all the, the ads have gone. Uh, got more heavy over there. You can see that the anarchy just eating away at them. And literally, guys, that is the run. We're not going to get another wave of ads. He's going to die. I never even got a chance to fire off any more anarchy. And there you go. That was how I got my cloud strike. Now, it took me about four runs to get it. I hope I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you. Thanks a lot for watching the run, guys. The support I get and the comments and all that, they, they really mean the world to me. If you did like the video, a like would be awesome. I'm planning on going back to streaming this week, so hopefully I'll see all, most if not all of you, uh, on the streaming channel, link in the description. Thanks for watching guys, good luck with the runs, and I will see you guys in the next video.